What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. All right, let's get right into it guys. Today, we're gonna be sizing up these rings here. Um, got my gauge, got a little flashlight, I got my file, and I got a little piece of sandpaper. And uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. So we're gonna be opening up this new bag of rings and um, I got some polish over here on this piston. I'll set it to the side, I'll grab the other one. Okay. Let's see what we have here. This is an old ring. Now, you might have seen me in the last video keep uh, old parts, old rings, old gasket. Sometimes I keep the old stuff, not to put it in the bike, but to size it up. Um, or I just might need to look at something. I might need, it might be a different kind of gasket, different kind of thickness. Uh, sometimes you just don't run the Harley gaskets um, from the store. They're not always the best. So you have to get it. Anyways, we won't get into that right now. Um, <clears throat> so this I'll set to the side. Now, I already did a set. So that's why I kind of have the stuff out already. Um, I did double check as far as um, when I gapped it. I got the size that I needed, let's say um, on the top ring is the shiny one, which is this one. It's shiny compared to the black ones. Anyways, it's real obvious. This one is going to be 18 on the filler gauge. So, you have two sets of numbers here. You have your millimeter numbers and your hundredths. Tenths, hundredths, ones, tenths, hundredths. So I guess it would be 18 hundredths. So, or 0.45 millimeters. So I was getting a little confused. And I didn't, It's I don't do it every day, but I did do this originally and when I did it originally I probably put all the information in my head but instead of going back and getting the information and going okay double checking myself real quick I just grabbed the silver ring and I put it inside and I checked it and it was what I needed okay skinny top So, anyways, I was just looking at it. That's why I keep these old things lying around. Double check. So, it reinforced my thinking. I said, all right, it, cool. Um, and then I went about my business. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> uh, have a good file, clean file. This one's dirty. Um, I put a little oil onto it. Uh, worked fine. I clean the edges off with the sandpaper. Remember, this is a garage build. They do have um, something that rotates that you guys can do this with. Um, but I don't have that. This is a garage build and that's what's going on here. So let's get right into it, guys. I'm gonna set this one to the side. <coughs> Excuse me, guys and girls. Whomever may, may be watching. Or what, however you, whatever you want to be called, I guess. To each their own. Okay, now let's get right into it. Let's open this up. Don't get all crazy with your rings. <clears throat> if you have a knife, use it. I don't have a knife on me right now. Like, not my style. 
supposed to be within I try to get it exact so if it's supposed to be 18 I'm gonna put it on 17 or 16 I'm gonna build my way up slowly because as soon, as soon as you pass well now you gotta go buy a new set of rings so for me the best way to do it is very slow and the reason why that is is I've already done that I've already had to go buy a new set of rings the first time I built this you know, I had to walk in there with my head down, and it was no big deal. At first, I'm like, kind of had anxiety, like, son of a bitch, now I gotta go in there. They're gonna be like, well, this fucking kid. But you know what? He said, no problem, if you need help with anything, give us a call. And that's why, um, you know, I appreciate <clears throat> Monty and his work that he does over there at, at Mackie. And, um, yeah, so let's get right into this. Uh, so, I didn't even need to measure it. I know I need the file. So I'll get a little bit of oil. If you guys have anything you guys want to sponsor, any oil or any goodies for the shop, let me know. I'll use them. But for now, we're going to use this shit. I sprayed it down a little bit. I'm going to use one side okay there's markings on there okay you got to remember there's markings on here okay now silver one shiny one the markings that there's an N on this one on the very corner right here there's an N so I will use just that side. The reason why I look at that is because I only use that side to grind down. Instead of going both sides, I just grind down one side and then I clean up both sides with sandpaper at the very end for any burrs or anything like that. And then I clean it up. Anyway, let's get right into it. But <clears throat> only do one side. So find your end, find your marking. Um, the marking is usually has the bevel, beveled end but um that's just the position of how it's going to go on the piston and obviously the mechanical reasons of how it works with the oil um so how we're going to do it is we're going to use either or whatever side you want i'm going to get the side with the end and we're going to start grinding okay we're going to get this to 18. So, give us 
set it in there. It doesn't matter which way you position it right now as far as the marking. Unless you really care. We're just going to so lightly set it in there. Um, we'll pull it up toward the top. So I usually set it in there just about like that. Set the piston on there. And then I push it down until all four sides meet. <coughs> After I do that, then I come here with the filler gauge and I fill inside this gap. Now, here we go. Let's put this. <laughs> Maybe that's better, a little better for you. So, as you can see, it's too tight and I'm moving the ring. So, let's get to grinding some more. I'm happy with it. We're going to set these rings in there. Um, markings are going to be up. Um, that will be next time. Anyways, st thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. And gals. Um, again. Peace.